honestly tell me about it the stress in this oh god it's really really stressful but i thank god it was worth it i just it, it, it in fact this barrel of a thing it took longer than i expected because my mom came to the uk in august 2023 when i had my baby and the plan was to ship it before she goes back to nigeria and that was like october november and then we moved it forward to um shipping it january so just immediately she's going it's already it's arriving as well but then we had this what's it called exchange rate oh my god the exchange rate went high that was when pounds to naira was about two thousand plus and the guy who i used the guy who i used um his container to ship, to ship the barrel which i'm just going to talk about that now so the guy the guy I used to ship the barrel he had to stop because the price is to clear out his goods it was like times more than times two so so ridiculous so he had to stop he post everything so we had to drag it until i think i sent this in february march i can't even remember or march or so yeah march yes that was the 20 the ending of march yes i remember so that's when i sent the item and my mom received it in um april yeah yeah april just roughly a month because i got a lot of people asking me which um which shipping which shipping company did i use and i didn't really mention using a shipping company just as i said in that video and many other videos like i've got almost five or four videos concerning the shipping barrel i said this is a family friend it's his personal business it's his personal business which he he load up um goods cars and um televisions electricals and all those bits above he loads it up and sell so he's not a shipping company that deal with um in like the ship and bring it to the next doorstep from door to door there are some people that they handle that yeah but i don't know anybody who does that and i don't know how much it will cost to use shipping companies so but this guy now i used as i said the two barrels was 150 pounds but i felt like it's fair enough and the the shipping the barrel the cost for shipping that barrel for us was not based on weight because i know some people charge one kg they charge up to three pound four pound that's quite a lot so that barrel was really heavy so and that 150 i paid him for the two barrels yeah which means one is about 75 that's because of me um i think it's fair enough the in terms of clearing the clearing i don't have anything to do with the clearing i don't have any business with the clearing as i paid him that money the clearing everything was okay i had um someone else a family who is in london in lagos the person just went there on the day of clearing he just um collected the two barrels and helped in the way billing over to my mom's location so i didn't go through any stress with um clearing and all the clearance and all those things here so um i hope this video will also help answer some questions because i've got a lot of people telling me to drop number see if it's a shipping company definitely i will just drop the number that's business for the person but um i'm a bit not it's not looking okay my thinking just let me know in the comment section like if i drop this guy's number now i know a lot of people <laughs> they are not ready to start shipping they are not ready to even if they are within that area peterborough area they are not ready all they keep doing because anytime i post this video it goes viral anytime i post it goes viral then you get imagine thousands in fact millions the first video went as much as millions imagine thousands and millions of people calling this guy every single day that they want to ship a barrel they want to ship and maybe when they call him sorry mama and when they call him they start asking him how much are you charging uh, how much is per weight how much all this information i've given that's what they will keep doing calling the guy and this guy is not his business like he's not a shipping agent should i use that word he's not a shipping company there you go He's not a shipping company he doesn't do like this um barrel of a thing shipping it to people 
but i don't know i don't know i know there are some people who are really really ready to ship like if they're within peterborough because it's reasonable enough if you're with it there are other places in london that they do shipping but i don't know i don't know honestly i don't know i can't i feel like it's his personal number it's not a business number and um if he starts the if he's considering starting the business of collecting barrels which i'm still waiting for him if he will respond i've spoken to him already if you consider that as a business i'm happy to come and update you guys again at least it will be beneficial to people around cambridgeshire and peterborough area but dropping his number uh, to me you to me to me i just feel like you know it's just like someone was saying if i don't want to drop his number what's the point making this video why are you making telling us the video of shipping a barrel to your mom it's my content i just want to share the content it's something i did and I made a video about it and I documented it and I want to post it. So it, it might be helpful to someone that um, is considering getting barrel and filling up and sending over. It might be, it, it's just, is it every information people post that are useful to everybody? Yeah, some you post, you watch and move on. Uh -huh. So, but this one, I really wish I can drop his business number um, if he gives me the go ahead to. But if he doesn't give me the go ahead, why would I drop the number, guys? Let's just try and understand this. Yeah. So, but the stress is there. And I did this in a very short period. I like I bought most of the item in a very short period. But thanks to online deliveries and all those things, it made it faster and a little bit stress free. Today is helping me brush my hair. <laughs> ma, 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 ma. Why are you looking so serious? <laughs> yeah so i thank god the everything arrived safely and nothing no scratch no hiccups however i just remembered now <laughs> when it was cleared from the what did they call that is it a papa i think to for before it, before it got to my mom this bus this transport company people they were doing hard to, no we are we, it is already in the bus he's ah madam calm down <laughs> madam calm down we have, take this one madam calm down we put your 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 kaya inside the car already he's coming he's arriving tomorrow the next day she called them in the evening they will say ah madam he's still in the warehouse be patient and after paying 40,000 naira, anyway, the 40,000 naira is not even the main thing. But then, when my mom was telling me all these updates, I was just doing prayer and fasting. <laughs> God, I beg. Ah, I don't want any story. I don't even want the lock to be tampered because people can do anything. But thank God, everything was secured. Everything was intact. My mom opened the lock herself and everything. Yeah. So, more questions. I'm still happy to answer. But in terms of dropping the man's number, hmm. I already said it's like it's a personal number it's not a business number i will only drop number by permission so let's say bye say bye, say bye. Ah.